Hello everyone, so welcome back to another Bass Builder stream. I'm just getting everything set up here. We should be good to go. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make some more builds. I'm going to go through some more ideas. I'm just going to do a build first. We're going to go ahead and see if I can do something that was very similar to one of my previous builds. I just need to grab one of the images here so I can uh, remember what the heck I was making. So here we go, we've got the face, we'll do that one. I really like that face just because it allows me to do more or less whatever I want. I just realised I've got this on, uh, on Ultra as well, so this might get a little bit frame rate laggy. I'm not too sure. We'll see. I'm trying to put everything back where it was before in terms of details. Another little bit here and there. Use that one. Yeah. I'm trying to match up parts here as much as I can just so that it looks right. Is the best way of putting it. Uh, one equip here. This has to be the same as one of the other builds that I was doing and then I'm inverting it later on. Or at least making it different, so we'll go ahead here and do front skirts as. So I think it was that one. And the side skirts will have. It's that one. Rear skirts, we can have the, uh, the basic. And we'll have. Yeah, we'll have that for the back. The shoulders, they were this previously, so I'll make them that again, and then we'll change some of this other armor down. Hello to anyone that's in chat at the moment. Just give me a moment to uh, figure out where this build's going, and then I'll check chat back out. We'll, uh, we'll go with that for the arm stuff again, because I remember using that. Do the basic hand cover. And for legs, we've got the crazy ones here. Then we've got the novelty armor. And then we have the usual legs. The ankle guards are the slightly smaller ones. And then for the front, we'll use standard stuff. And then I'll repaint now. So I'll, I'll get rid of the reference that I had here. We'll move things around in the background so I can actually see what's going on. Ooh, trying to grab stuff here off screen and it's a little bit awkward. Okay, so reference wise, I'm going to be making one of the, uh, the Astray units again. So, I'm going to just pull the reference to the side here and away we go. So... I just realized I need to change one of the head parts here. I'm actually hoping that I can replicate this as much as possible. I don't think I've seen anybody do this frame yet as well, so... First one to do it. Right, we'll edit the style actually. I want to do style... Style 2. We'll edit the style. Style needs to be kind of this slightly darker, darkish color about, say about there maybe. I'm I'm looking at the the artwork here and trying to go off it. Right, let's let's try that. Oh, it's custom one for that. Okay, so we got this reflective inner frame at the moment. Well, there's the uh, the pistons. We'll actually have them as a different color. We'll be nice and, and have them as like silver or whatever. Or actually, let's do titanium. Give it a little bit of a mix. And the eyes. The eyes are this weird yellow, really pale yellow. We've not got one here. Let's uh, let's just go with yellow gloss there, and then we'll. Go ahead, 
make this up and then like I said I'll go through different things in a little bit. I just realized that the uh, paint style here I'm gonna need like this very pink kind of white. Uh, select style. I'm gonna do style 10 here. Style 10 and then I'll edit it. It's got, it's like this off purpley pink white. It's really, really weird as a color. Then again, this suit is a really weird choice. Right, so let's try that. Has that been changed now, number 10? Slightly bring down the metallic look of it. Bring up the gloss a little bit. Okay. So we got this, and then we'll do the the other colors here. I just realized I need I needed that deep purple, but we'll go with the uh, the metal one here instead. Actually, no. Let's uh. You're doing the Astroth Gundam. No, 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 I'm doing a different one. This is one of the Astros that I'm doing. It's one of the uh, the crazier Astros. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to take Style 13 here. And I'll edit Style 13. So it needs to be about there. And then we take it down to this kind of deep purple. Then we, uh, we take metallic back a little bit and take the gloss back a little bit just a tiny bit and we'll save it there so we got this this very deep purple that we're gonna work off here you gotta get this just right will this game also be on ps4 says Dylan honestly I don't know at the moment Dylan it's one of those where it's kind of up in the air as to whether it will or whether it won't it's been targeted at switch and PC at the moment So I need to make that kind of this the black part for the head, and then the the top is a like a yellow jewel here. Let's do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these, well this build first, and then I'll do the ideas that I was thinking about the other day, because I've been talking to the devs again and uh, fun times. Right, so let's see the Astro here, I think I'm going to have this style head by the way, hello to Vermillion that may be in here at some point maybe even if you're not I hope you guys enjoy this there we go, we got this this cool kind of head going on at the moment and then we'll go to the neck. The neck is actually the same color as everything else by the look of it. Can I try and get one of the uh, inner parts here different? Let's try that one and we'll try making that one a gunmetal gray. Then for the torso here, the torso is incredibly weird. Like, we're going to need to do it like that almost. I know that says gunmetal brown, but it really isn't. We'll, we'll edit this color. It's, it's a little bit more purple on the original design. It's like a, a purpley red. It's weird. It, it's very... I wouldn't say glossy, but it's definitely... It's a little bit more red by the look of it. About there. You should make a Goblin Slayer mech later to match a YouTube and it says Dylan. Oh, I made it in... Uh, I think it was last night's stream I made Goblin Slayer. It's actually pretty fun to see as well. But yeah, thanks for the suggestion, Dylan. It's, uh... It was a really fun build. I actually really enjoyed it. There we go, we got 8, which is that kind of dark Titans blue. Then we got 3, we'll make 3 that as well. So yeah, if you want to see the, uh, the Goblin Slayer build, by all means check out yesterday's. Uh, stream, I think it was it was called More Ideas or something. 
Right, let's see here. Uh, that number one needs to be this colour. What have we got? This bit, which I'm going to make all that deep purple. Have you tried making your black Gundam weapons rack in this? Not yet. Not yet. This. This is a, a crazy one. This. I've never tried this build before. I don't think anybody has. I've not seen anybody do it, so... The, uh, the colour scheme is definitely... Not something I would go with, but... Really, really weird. I don't see a backpack on it, so we'll do the, the front part here. The front section is just all... What the hell is going on? Are we trying to copy front mission? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm trying to do another design. I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream. Are there also any, any bulky heavyweight pieces in this, says Heavy? Not at the moment. You're really digging mass build, this says Zero. I enjoy it, you know. It's all fun and games. I, uh... I like the idea that there'll be another customizable mech game on the market for everybody to enjoy, so I'm just trying to give everybody a, uh, a good look at it and also what you can do in the demo. Like, honestly, I've spent over 12 hours on this demo already, and I'm, uh, I'm still really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. I love the urban camo, it looks really good. I hope they re release a, a better build with this, with different sound effects. Yeah, I'll be, if you guys stick around, I'll be divulging more later on because I've been talking to more of the uh, the devs and the uh, the PR team. And I, I, uh, I got some new details about it, which are actually pretty cool. And uh, I'll share those in a little bit. What I was doing was I was going to get the build together first and then share those details because I have them in a separate notepad file here. I'm just trying to mess around with this build for the moment. You're allowed to divulge information. The said information says all trace. Oh yeah, it's public information. What I've, uh, what I've done is I've gone on the Discord and like asked them some stuff. And the PR has been more than happy to respond to me, which is really nice. Maybe because I'm streaming it to the point where they've, they've actually said, like, look, we, we watch your streams. And uh, we, we look at everybody's comments and we look at the, uh, the suggestions people are making. And I, I said this would probably happen and that it would be a really good thing for everybody else that was wanting something like this. Because then you could ask questions, you could give ideas, you know, and you're in a good position to get something either implemented and be like, oh, look what I've done, or helping the team out. So either way, you're in a good position. The melee combat is so powerful, says Eli. I do like melee combat in this. You can either go like free form or just chill. Right, so... I'm going to finish off this build. I don't know if anybody is going to recognize this build immediately, but I do like it. It's it's a crazy design, and I have to sort of invert it later on. Right, that and that need to be this weird, really weird off-white color. Are you making making the cubelet? No, no, no. I'd, I'd be using more uh, heavier parts if it was the cubelet. This is, uh, for anybody that's seen my ashtrays, it's another ashtray. I mentioned it, I think, before? It's one of the other ashtray types. I'm just trying to get it done properly here. It's a really weird ashtray that I've seen the kit of, like, once. Uh... And I was going to get it ages ago and then didn't. Does it have wings on it? No, no, no. This one doesn't have wings on it. Uh, I've done so many things in this over the, like, 20... Uh, not 20, sorry. The 12 hours I've spent with it so far. We're going to be spending more hours on it eventually. 
It's just fun just to come in and build stuff and then watch people's reactions. I saw a really good build of Epion before that I, I actually want to try copying from somebody. I need to find who actually posted that on the Discord and give them a, uh, a shout out. Because the, uh, the Discord for this project is really, really, really cool at the moment. They've got like this small community thing going on. Uh, <laughs> I don't think this has the ankle armor on it, just looking at it, so we'll take the ankle armor off. Go to master off. No, no, no. I said it was an astray, guys. Astray, you know, like the red frame, the blue frame, the green frame, the gold frame. There is a another one that nobody seems to have mentioned yet. I think it was a side story one. I'm not too sure. It's a really weird color scheme. Where I'm gonna roll with it. So weird. I'll divulge the information in a moment because it has a bunch of different melee type weapons on it. The blue destiny. No, no, no. So this Epion can be made. This game keeps getting better, says Dylan. Yeah, I'll try and make it in a bit. So this. This is the Astray Mirage frame. This is the uh, the MBF P05 LM. I, I don't know whether it's side story or not, but I've seen it once before in kit form at a local shop, and it was really weird. So I'm going to I'm going to give it all the uh, the weapons now. It's weird. Its second form has like a transformable gimmick to it. It's, it's so strange. So this one, it's like the red frame. Has a little bit more pointy stuff on it, and uh, it, its gimmick is it's just purple. It's like a purple red frame, but it has like uh, tomfers on the arms, and the the second version of it transforms into like uh, a mobile armor form. It's really weird. We'll give it the slightly bigger uh, paint job here, because this is the uh, the katana blade. We'll. Give it that platinum edge, and then we'll make the, the back edge black. And then the rest of the blade is, like, purple. Do the, the black here. And then that can be that deep purple. Ah, oh, I need to make that purple again. I hate this, where it doesn't save colors. Or well, sometimes it doesn't save colors. Number two, select style. Uh, edit style. Number two... Out there. I like these colors, says Eli. My Gundam knowledge is limited to gunpla animes and some UC knowledge. I know nothing else, says Heavy. It's, uh. It's one of the more weirder suits I think I've seen. It's, uh. Unique! I can give it that, but not in the, uh. best sort of way. So there's the. the katana. I don't think it has a knife, but I know it has tomfers, but I don't think I can make tomfers. Let's... I love the way I've still got my band hammer and my shigaru blade from the, uh... The Age Sparrow, I think it was. The tomfers I could possibly make with the, the knuckles. And then we just need to... I can't wait until we... Like, hopefully they, they include some of the other ideas that I, I want in this. I, I'll mention it in a bit, because otherwise I'll be spoiling the, uh, the surprise here. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna equip the multi-missiles here, and we'll... I would say, go with that, and we'll make that black. But yeah, after we've done this, and we've got this done, I'll make some more stuff later on, but I'll go over the details of what was said, and, uh, and all the new stuff that's hopefully gonna happen in the future and uh, also some of the other interesting stuff the devs covered which was really cool okay so there we go we've got missiles we've got the sword and we've got the the rifle because it's similar to the red frame so we'll take this into the mission area and I'll uh, I'll get rid of the reference for the moment and I'll pull up the uh, the ideas here. We'll just go over it in a sec. Right. 
Salty. Here's the Astrate Mirage frame. Really weird. Like I said, I've not actually seen whether it's like side, uh, side story or not, but 20 minutes in game, just messing around with it, and hoof. I don't know whether the uh, the frame rate is better or worse when it's on Mission Ultra. Start. Sounds weird, but it definitely dips when I'm streaming, especially when I get one of those. So, in terms of ideas, I've been on about different ideas recently and trying to get them to the dev so that we can come up with new and interesting ways to play the game and also to provide players with more options, or rather make things easier. So, one of, like, the first thing I had here was an eye colour button, and specifically the, uh, the description for this, I'll put all of this in the Discord as well, but... The, the eye colour button was a UI element that I thought of, where people apparently can't find the eye colour switch button because it's on the frame section. So, one of the easiest things to do to solve that would be just to have a dedicated button because of player feedback saying, Oh, we can't find it! Just have a dedicated button for it that just says, like, eye colour on it and allows you to change it rather than it being in slot 4. Uh, or have it at least marked, like, light colour or something to help the player understand what they're actually selecting instead of just being like, wait a minute, I have to go to frame and then go to slot 4. You know, that'd be much easier to, uh, to deal with. Then I went on about some weapon ideas. I've got, like, weapon ideas mixed in with other things here. The other one was, uh, Combat Twin Grip EX, which is a weapon grip, very similar to the, uh, the double, t uh, Combat Twin Grip, which is... The, uh, the pole arm that has two uh, sockets either side that allows me to create like a double-ended scythe. The, the other version of that would be uh, a combat twin grip EX, which basically has sockets at e either end of the twin grip, allowing for a long pole arm weapon with blades or weapons at either end. So... Uh, Essentially what you're doing is you're just taking the uh, one of the original grips and just mirroring it so you can have like a dual-ended glaive I think that would be pretty cool as a, uh, a weapon because of the, uh, the different combinations that you can allow the player to have there It's possible that they already have that in though or at least they're working on it Should give that spin attack says Eli yeah, I was thinking that, like, people would probably just take that into battle and just go have something crazy with it. I mean, I already mentioned to them in the Discord that they should have, uh, glowing parts. I think I mentioned this in one of the other streams. It was I wanted them to have the emissive textures on things so that you could make parts glow. So you could emulate different things. So, say, for instance, we have the ability to make everything glossy or metallic at the moment. I want to make things glow so that I can make like my inner frame glow like a um, like a psycho frame or whatever from say unicorn because I did make the unicorn build but the frame didn't glow and you could have like various other bits like at the moment some of the the face masks don't allow you to see the light through them so instead if they can't like make parts of them see through or whatever just allow us to make stuff glow so that I can go ahead and, like, make parts glow and emulate face masks, stuff like that. That'd be really cool. Uh, the next one is, like, a quality of life one. And, oh my god, I love that for a, uh, a screenshot. I'm gonna take that. Uh, next one was the, the rotate tool for the hanger. The idea is that it's a, a potential rotate option that gives, uh, just only, uh, weapon sockets the ability to rotate the blade. So, like, for instance, I'll, I'll show you what I'm on about now for, for these ideas. So, we go into weapons here. And we go to, say, the hammer. The idea is that the hammer is currently using the dual guard. And the, the one that I think I was mentioning was the uh, the twin pole arm here. Uh, the, where is it? The twin grip was, I think... Ah, there we go. The twin grip was... I think I also said gl about glowing parts in our Discord, says Heavy. I think I might have got the idea from there. Uh, I definitely know, I, like, I wanted to do an Isaac Clarke build from Dead Space the other day, and I remember mentioning it on stream. This is what I was on about. With the combat twin grip, what I wanted for the, the twin grip EX would basically be a polearm version of this. 
So, like a really long dual-ended pole arm, so you could have dual-ended hammer. So, basically, take like one of one of these three, the sepal pole arm, the dual guard pole arm, or the combat pole arm, and just mirror them so I can have dual-ended hammers. Like, take the model, cut it in half, make it symmetrical, and give me dual-ended hammer just for the sake of ridiculousness. That's what I was on about for the, the combat twin grippy eggs. Uh, for the rotate function, the idea was to take, say for instance, the combat twin pole arm here. If we go to the uh, the sockets, as you can see here, we got two sockets either side. But if I showing off di on Discord, says Benny, yeah, I've been showing them off a bit. So the idea with the uh, the socket rotating feature would be to say if I want to do a uh, a set of blades like this on the end of this grip. It looks a little bit silly having the, the blades face the robot. So what I was thinking was putting like a rotate button just here on the, the top right. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse here. But in the top right where it says like overview and element underneath the uh, the orbital stuff. I just, uh, just put a rotate tool there that allows you to select like one of the the slots and then hit rotate and the blades then swap or flip and go outside so they're facing the outside in the correct way you know so instead of instead of having these all these blades face inwards have them so they can face outwards because like the scythe blades look cool because they face outwards but the uh the sword blades don't but it would give everybody the uh, the customization option. We can see your mouse is heavy. Ah, sweet. So yeah, it would give everybody else the customization option to allow them to either face the blades inwards or face the blades outwards. That was another thing I came up with. Uh, another one was part scaling because people were asking, kind of like a flip function. Yeah. Another one was part scaling in the the hanger mainly because like in the hanger here, if we go to some of the armors, some of the armors look cool as they are like my ashtray here but if I want to make something that looks a little bit heavier say like uh, let's go to the arms let's go to the shoulders there we go so if I take what looks like the bulkiest armor here the titan shoulder sounds really big sounds really imposing but when you look at it it's kind of a medium sized arm and what I wanted was kind of like a scaling tool where we could scale it up even if it was only like 10 to 20 percent it would still make a lot of difference here so it wouldn't change any of the rigging that's there already all you would really be doing is just increasing the scale just a tiny bit obviously the devs can set that themselves and we can have a slider feature for it a little bit like say this option for the mech and everything but we're, we're allowed to say like okay we want to slide it say uh width ways across here or we can slide it vertical or we can do both like this and as a result makes the part bigger I would love that. Gives players more options then. The more options players have, the more fun they will have with the game. Ultimately, that's the way that I look at it at the moment. Because we've already been given a load of options, and I'm already enjoying it. I'm on like, uh, almost my 13th hour of playing this now, and I've not got bored of it. And it's only two levels, and a customization option. You know. And it, I'm supposed to be getting, like in the full game, I say I'm supposed to be getting, we are supposed to be getting over like 500 parts and like eight different missions or more with a full narrative and everything that's going to keep me occupied for hours on end you know so this is working fine um other ideas combat grip duo so combat grip duo was something i came up with for weapons again which was let's take a blade here for instance we've got all these the way the the different blades are set out and everything and the best way i can emulate this is by taking this and saying, look, similar to the, the standard combat grips that we've got here, but it allows the user to attach two blades facing parallel to each other. So imagine taking this grip and making it slightly wider so I can fit two of these blades side by side on each other. Something similar to uh, Kadaja's Suba Katana from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I just thought that would be pretty crazy because then you can have sockets either side and then do something stupid like have a small katana and a big katana or have a katana and the, the long metal blade or the long metal blade and the long assault blade. It wouldn't look right for absolutely everything. It might not work. Like, it'd be cool with the combat scythe, like dual combat scythe on one blade. I think that'd be really neat. But then you've got all the stuff that it wouldn't work with, like the spike ball and stuff. Probably wouldn't work, but 
No, oh, it's one of those things where not everything works here, and I know stuff does clip through each other. I've seen it, so it's it's. I mean, look at that. That's a a, a fist on the end or a bracer on the end of a sword, so that that gives you a really crazy option. But it would be cool for a little bit more functionality. In terms of, uh, I'm gonna say the ashtray out again. In terms of the way that difficulty is done. People brought about difficulty and I was thinking about it. I think Heavy, you brought this up in one of the streams and you were saying about how you would try and like balance difficulty. Do holstered weapons appear on the mech? I, I don't think they do, to be honest. So Heavy was on about difficulty on one of the Mission other start. streams and I was thinking about it today for balancing. And I was thinking like, in terms of difficulty, the the way these enemies are portrayed is something similar to the, the beta from Bungalow. The idea is that, narrative-wise, they appear on the planet, and they start wrecking everything, and the idea is then humanity has to fight against them to survive. And we're going to be encountering like different varieties of these things, different bosses and other things, so I wanted them to be imposing on the harder difficulties, because... The idea is that at the moment, people say, no, they're dumb, they're stupid, you know, they just run straight at you. There's no sort of other variations. I'm, I'm assuming at this point there's going to be different variations, ones that shoot projectiles, ones that treat combat a little bit differently. But what I would like as well for, like, the different difficulties is things like when you ramp up the, diff the difficulty a little bit more, enemies attack faster, they lock onto you and move faster. This makes combat more frantic, so we're at the moment, I'm just kind of running around and just being like, no, oh, it's fine, and just putting enemies down as if nothing happened. You know, like, I can run up to an enemy here, and he's no threat. He's literally no threat at this point. I know I'm fully upgraded, but the the franticness of having the enemies attack you a lot faster and move a lot faster, that would put that sense of dread in you. And on a higher difficulty, you'd be moving around like crazy and trying to avoid all of these mechs as they just come at you and just try and dive in and get all these hits on you, because... Moving, them moving a lot faster than they are at the moment. Like, let's try and let's try and kill one of these so I can make this an example. This guy trying to kill me here. Look, he's got he's got that little lunge. I'll admit that's quick, right? But if you get it just right, look, he's no threat. He's just stupid. Like he's hitting me a little bit. He's not doing much damage. And honestly, I'm I'm treating him like I, I'm just trying to avoid him. I'm just like he's stupid. You know, if he was. Uh, if his attack pattern was a little bit faster, more aggressive, as in, like, he's constantly going for me and I'm constantly having to dodge like this, that would be one way of treating the uh, bouncing, because then you've got a player having to stay on their toes while everything's going on, and if you mix in all these different enemy types, then you get a very frantic situation where the player is constantly like, oh god, I'm getting attacked, I'm getting attacked from all places, then you're, you're busy trying to switch between who you're attacking, what weapons you're using, it makes the player think on the fly of what's going on and how to approach things, and not always sort of just sit there and mess around the AI. Um, the other alternative was less ammo drops. The idea is that players feel more vulnerable when they don't have as much ammo. Sure, they'll still have melee weapons, but as you can see, I was getting hit. And hit, getting hit while you're in melee combat still takes damage. So the idea for balancing was... Another one was less ammo drops, because then you have to conserve ammo. You, not just like me, just firing off missiles left, right, and center like this and not caring. Instead, it's, it's actively up to the player to decide how much ammo they can serve. And to think about where they're using it and how they can get the most out of it effectively. That way, again, it's more about the player thinking about what choices they want to make and when. Uh, and then the last one was boosting uses more energy. I thought it'd be really nasty here. The idea is that quick boosting at the moment, everybody's complaining about it. Because it's like, oh look, you can just fly around forever like this and it recharges real quick. The idea was that either boosting uses more energy or recharging takes longer. The idea is that this would make quick boosting round a little bit more scarce as players have to keep tabs on how much energy they have. So it wouldn't be a simple saving grace that it always has been at the moment of just sort of flying off and then coming back. You'd actively have people sort of quick boosting like this and then a little bit like that just to to do quick dodges and then let the, their energy come back. Uh, they'd be looking at the HUD a little bit more, which they should be doing, to be honest, to, to keep an eye on how much energy they've got, and 
it would make players feel a little bit less inclined to just do like me and just be boosting headfirst into battle like this, even though it's supposed to be a uh, like a Super Robot Wars style game. It would be a little bit more of, I would say, more like a little bit of a meta survival game in that sense, because then you've you've not just got the, the get out of jail free card and just I'm boosting all the time and nothing can hit me, you know. Because at the moment, that's what makes the enemies look stupid is the fact that they can't catch up with you. If they can catch up with you, they can do damage, simple as. So that'd be another simple fix for things. I don't know whether everybody would enjoy it, and I don't know why I've got this weird sight sword thing equipped either. But um, but yeah, that would be another way of dealing with balancing issues. I'm busy trying to off these last enemies here. So going over that stuff was also talking to them. And the best part about this was pointing to devs about possible possible uh, Steam Workshop support. Because I understand they're on like a really, really, really close uh, time scale for how everything's being done. They're working almost all the time. Is it just me or do the enemy designs look uninspired, says Heavy? Eh, it's... The, trust me, the concept ones look better. Like, I hope they put some of the other ones in later on, because they look a lot better. Eli says, If they do that, they should add quick dashing for dodging and stuff, like single thrust or whatever in the direction you are moving towards. It would make me melee combat flow a little better. Yeah, potentially. I mean, I get the idea that they want everything to move around really fast. Uh, but at the same time, it's like, y you've got to make some sacrifices to make the player feel vulnerable in higher difficulties. I'm just going to... Do this again, just so we can talk through stuff, and then I'll make another build. So that was all the stuff, the ideas that I've come up with at the moment for balancing and different, uh, different, uh, I would say, quality of life things. What the designs can, the content designs look like, says Heavy. Um, so there was one that was a giant snake, one that looked like a dragon, one that looked a little bit like Snorlax. It, it's weird. The, the best thing you can do is, if you want to see the concept designs for the enemies, uh, well, for the enemies at the moment, because you said you were going to have more mass frames in as well, definitely uh, go check out, I think it's the Kickstarter or the Facebook uh, Vermillion Dev. They normally have, or Vermillion Digital, sorry. Vermillion Dev is the, the Twitter. And what the the Kickstarter and the, uh, the social media shows is the actual uh, 16 concept designs they have for the enemies and the enemies look really cool and uh, I'm I'm excited to see if they will put all 16 designs in or at least put like the more extravagant ones because these are just the very basic ones at the moment it's like the very very basic ones that we've got and I'm, I'm expecting some of them might react differently it's like I, I was expecting the the guys that have really big bulky arms and more squared off face masks I was expecting those to maybe shoot projectiles, I don't know, because we've got nothing that shoots projectiles at the moment. Everything just lunges at you, and I'm thinking to myself, well, if it was anything like the beta from Mugwo, then you want one, at least one type that shoots projectiles, maybe another one that rushes real fast, then you've got the bruiser types. You know, they all, they all seem to have the same speed and, and movement at the moment, and all of them are just sort of run up in your face and smash your armour off. Oh, that's that's the the basics of it at the moment. That's not bad, but gameplay's a bit loud, says Heavy. Right, let's uh should have uh, mentioned it a little bit sooner. I'm going to bring the gameplay down a little bit. So I'm assuming you guys heard everything before. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, uh, the idea is that the the enemies at the moment, the variety of them is a little bit crazy. In terms of, like, there's only three or four of them in this demo, but they all play the same. A little bit of variety in terms of ones that shoot at you, or ones that that support the teammates somehow. I don't know whether you could get the... Didn't realise earlier this is heavy, my bad. It's cool, dude, it's cool. I'm not, like, shouting at you and being like, Oh, somebody should have told me. I should have checked, to be honest, but I just thought the, uh, the settings were the same as last time. Uh, I just boosted my microphone a little bit there. So yeah, the idea for balancing and the idea for enemies, that's one thing we've gone over. Um, or two things we've gone over. Then we've gone over the, the potential new parts and the, the potential tools that could be given to the player. But like I was saying before, we, we talked to the devs on uh, 
on the Discord that they have. Hey, Vermillion, if you're watching again. Um, basically, when it came down to it, the devs were on about Steam Workshop because I brought it up. I said, like, look, are we going to get Steam Workshop on this? Because I would love to be able to do some stuff with this. And they said, potentially, further down the line, they'll look at trying to get Steam Workshop on this so that we can do different things. Like, if we can add either different enemy models into this or we can add different armor models, that would be cool. If I can come up with up my own level or something, you know, just something would be uh, would be good to expand it because everybody loves mods and loves doing their own stuff. So, having the ability to sort of put whatever you want in here through Steam Workshop would be fantastic. I'll probably get more feedback from that later on or as more people come in. I'll, I'll reiterate these points that I've made before. Uh, but, yeah, they were on about Steam Workshop and I was saying, well, not just Steam Workshop, but uh, how do you address the community, you know? And they were saying, like, we keep a close eye on people that are making suggestions and we try and take them all. And what we do is we go into the meeting room or we, we talk amongst each other about the ideas and we see what's good, what we like, and then we uh, we try and implement them later on if we think they're really good. So, if you've got any really good ideas and we put them out either in the Discord or we do it via, uh, you know, if, if we put it out via the, the Discord or through my videos or whatever, then if they end up implementing something, then by all means we've added to the game essentially. And it's not sort of the whole thing of, oh yeah, we've, we've actively, we've done something. It's more like we've made the game better. It's, so it's not sort of bragging rights of, oh, we had a hand in doing this. It's more like, look, we made this game better for everybody. And as a result, more people are playing it, more people are enjoying it, and everybody gets more out of it. You know, so that's cool. Eli's message was retracted. I think it said something about the idea of mods would make the game really popular. I could be wrong about that, Eli, if you want to, uh, if you want to just sort of... Uh, Tell me whether I did that wrong or not. I'm going to do the, the other Astray here now. The other Astray that I have, the, the second version of this. The uh, the Mirage unit is really weird, but it's going to... It's going to be made! <laughs> it's like the invert of this, but it, then it has purple on it as well. I, I need to do the, uh, the colour first. I think I should be fine. You got it, says Eli. So yeah, the idea is that mods just make everything a lot more fun and popular. So just take this, put mods on it, there we go. I need to make this inner frame up here. It's like this this really weird pink colour. The, the Astray Mirage has always been a really weird design to me, but it's kind of crazy. It's got this weird fluorescent style salmon -y Oh, salmon pink on it. It just stands out like a sore thumb. It is really weird. But at the same time, you, you kind of look at it and just be like, what the... I've never seen a Gundam frame with the internal frame be completely pink before. And the exterior armor be purple. But there's a first time for everything, so... We got to uh, we got to change these things around now. So we got this. Ion says the Mirage frame has some pretty crazy weapons. Ion, you missed that one. I was uh, I was telling everyone about the uh, you know the stuff that was going on with like workshop support and other things and uh, potential balancing. Like when everybody gets in here, we can probably talk about that again because then we can go over and see if anybody hates the idea of balancing and things. But yeah, it was a uh, good talk. I'm just trying to get these colours right, because these colours are really ugly. Like, super ugly. That, that, and that need to be... No, nope, no, it's purple, not pink. And then the, the purple is number two. Well, next time I won't eat, says Ion. Dude, you know the deal. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I mean, I think you did say before that you were going to eat in, so I'm not, I'm not having a go. I'm just saying. So we got this. And we got to go... For that. And... 
think that's that's all of it that's going to be purple. I'm trying to get this right because it's it's awkward. The the bottom is still this kind of oh no it's lighter grey now, huh? I will be ready for my build stream tonight, says Ion. Dude, I'll probably end up hopping on and doing the uh, the unicorn. It's kind of this grey metal here, and then we've got this is. Ah, oh, it's not purple. At least it doesn't look it. It looks black. If I go there like that, that... Oh, no. This is... This has gone funny now. Um, right, that needs to be... Look at this reference here, and I'm just like, what am I doing? That needs to be... That. And then we got... Main part here needs to be... Black by the look of it. Andrew says, hello. Hello. Hope you're okay. Just hanging out in the general chat in your Discord until my Discord server is ready. That's cool, dude. Uh, uh, what was I going to pick here? Was it that? Yeah. Yes, it was. Heavy says, all right, so the stream buffered a lot during your whole explanation of the game's settings. So if I'm correct, is it similar to Move Love? The, the idea for the, the premise is supposed to be similar to Move Love. So the idea that I was having before is to have the AI be more aggressive to the player than it is at the current point in time, just so we can, uh, like, it, on the higher difficulty levels anyway, so that it feels a little bit more frantic. Just found you through Mass Builder Discord, says Andrew. It's cool. I uh, I put up a load of stuff on there, but yeah, I, I play this. I played this demo now for over 12 hours, and I have not got bored of it. Not once. And I keep building different themed stuff, like, every single day. But yeah, Mass Builder is a little bit like Move Love, mixed with Armored Core, mixed with Super Robot Wars. The mass, wait. The mass builder is called Moody is making his way around. Says Ion. I like trying. I uh, I thought I put in some proper effort recently, so I uh I'm trying. I'm trying to get around just so that people can support the game more. I, I constantly just come on here. I've started talking to the devs more as well. Of course, it starts buffering again during the explanation. Says Heavy. It would. It would. I hate it when it buffers like that. But yeah, I uh. I honestly think, in terms of different difficulties, I'm going to post this on the Discord later on, is, uh, for a suggestion anyway, is just that when uh, when it comes down to the different difficulty levels, everything should feel more frantic and feel a little bit more like you're engaging the beta from Love Love, just because of how crazy and uh, destructive the, uh, the beta are. So the idea is that you have less ammo the enemies are faster, and you have less boost, so that you feel like you're more on edge all the time. So it becomes a little bit more frantic, basically. And it makes the player think a little bit more, so you end up thinking more about how much you're boosting and how much ammo you've got. In, in general, it would make it so everybody's not just flying straight into battle head first and thinking, oh yeah, I'm invincible. You know, that's that's the one thing that everybody's doing at the moment and that people are complaining about for the uh, the demo is that, oh, the enemies seem stupid or they don't come at you fast enough or, you know, they're not, they're not smart at all. It's just like, well, okay, how do we fix that? Simple, you turn around and say, look, we're going to make the enemies more aggressive and make the player think more about their actions and then as a result the uh, the player isn't sort of moving around like grease lightning all over the place every 10 seconds or however long it is you know there, there has to be some thought put into how you can in that sense restrict the player movement without going too crazy or make the player think more about their actions because if you can make the player think more about their actions while they're doing things then you've done a good job. You know, it's like Gears of War. With Gears of War, you don't generally want to come out of cover in that because 
if you come out of cover, you're going to get wrecked. And that's why it's a cover-based shooter. You know. And so you can come out of cover, but you're going to take a lot of damage. So the idea is, like with Mass Builder, if it was on a higher difficulty and things were tweaked either to have the enemies more aggressive or to have less ammo drops or to have the enemies attack faster, it's like, well, okay, you can do that. But you've got to understand then that when you, you change stuff like that, the changes that will be made will impact gameplay so the player has to then think about it differently. I just, I can't wait to, to see if that actually happens because if it does, it'll be interesting to see what kind of depth the uh, the game has. Andrew says, is that an Aegis build? No, no, no. So far we've made the, like on, on stream, I've made the Granddaddy Gundam, the Strike, the Double Zeta, the Narrative, the Unicorn, Death Scythe, the TV version. Uh, we've made Heavy Arms... I'm trying to remember all of them because we've made so many. The Hazel. We've made the Astray Red Frame, the Sengoku Astray. We've made the Blue Frame Second L. We've made the Mirage Frame. I've not built the, the Gold Frame yet. This is the, the Mirage Frame Second Form. Um, trying to remember what else we've done. We've done the Phoenix. I didn't do the Banshee. We've done the Full Armor Unicorn. Uh... I've said X, yeah, we made Optimus Prime, we've made uh, the trainer for Maldonado Zero, we made the Arbalist ARX-7 from Full Metal Panic, um, I'm trying to remember what else we made, I have it all in Discord, Big Seed Fan, no, 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 you'd think that, I only like the, um, the Astray's design just because, to be honest, everyone says it's just because of weeb stuff, but honestly, I... Apart from the whole, oh, it's a mech with a giant katana, I just like the idea that the Astray frames have a lot of joints that simulate human mobility, and that's just really cool. I just think that's really cool, having more mobility in a frame and having it be slightly more realistic. So that's why I like the Astray frames. But uh, apart from that, the only other thing I like from Seed is uh, the actual freedom, the original freedom, rather than uh, anything that appears in Seed Destiny. It's like, I actually need to go ahead and watch Seed and Seed Destiny all the way through just to see what everybody's complaining about. But, um... But, yeah. It's, uh... It's just the Astray, man. The Astray is a cool design. Really cool design. Let's try three and two here for the, the inner frame. The Mirage frame is really weird. But, yeah, um... In terms of, like, me, I started off Gundam with Gundam Wing. And then... I moved on from there because I was around when Gundam Wing was first airing. So after Gundam Wing first aired, that's when I started getting into everything else. I think the Sword Impulse as a mech. I like the Sword Impulse as a mech, but I hate the pilot though. Yeah, it, it's like, in terms of all the seed characters, I really don't know who I like the most because they all kind of have bits where you can just be like, I hate that. You know, it, it's crazy. I just realized I've had like huge parts on the back there but yeah i started with the first run on toonami for gundam and then i just went from there i've i've been watching it since the original run of wing on toonami and i really really do enjoy each iteration it's just i've not watched seed i can't remember why i didn't watch seed i think it was out the time that it was out i think i was either watching other anime or doing other stuff there's a lack of bright slaps. Yeah. Every other day I'm on here, I'm playing uh, Gundam Battle Operation 2 as well. You know, the, the Battlefield style game with everybody that normally plays with me. So it's not like I, uh, I don't like my Gundam. It's just trying to, uh, trying to get this build together is crazy. Uh, it's just, there's, there's some sections of Gundam that I really don't like. Let's mirror this. J Japanese only game. Uh, yeah, but you can get it on your English or American or European consoles uh, really easily. I've even got a community set up for it. Uh, most of the people that are in chat or that come into chat are from my uh, my Discord. Heavy says, what about the pilots? Are they mercenaries? I don't even know. Sorry about the, the delayed reaction there, Heavy. 
So yeah, we got the katana. We'll make some fists here. These are other weapons that I've made before. We'll make some fists because I know it has claws. We'll get, we'll give it the. Uh, Trying to think here. We can either give it the fists or we can give it these kind of like crazy claw things. Don't think that's gonna work. Having a scythe blade on the end. Yeah, I'll go with that. And then we'll try and... We'll keep the same weapons. They go over that in the opening of the demo. Honestly, I just sped straight into this. Like a complete idiot. I was just like, I'm getting straight into this. and just having a laugh. I'm going to have to go over the, uh, the storyline and everything again properly. Oh god, I just realized I'm messing around with my chrome silver there. Can we, uh, can we just make this all that purple color that I've got here. That kind of deep. It's like a deep purple. I don't know whether this is going to be exactly the same as as I've got it, but we'll, we'll try. We got that deep purple and then I'll make the other bits black. So we'll do like, like these bits. We'll have these be black on the handle. And then the rest of it, we'll see about these different elements here, because normally all of this is purple, looking at the claws. That will do titanium. And I think these other bits will do, are you doing like gold or bronze? Yeah, it looks a bit bleh. Let's try the uh, the darker purple here. Or maybe... Yeah, I'll do that. So we got the fists. So this is the Astray Mirage Frame second form. Let's take him out for a spin. Always do the demo level and then just take everything out for a spin. I'm hoping the demo has more control over your mass. Oh yeah, that reminds me. New update for that. The, the next demo, they mentioned it in the... Uh, the discord the the next demo will feature a boss or at least they hope it will feature a boss so uh it's gonna be interesting seeing that mission start i just realized i left the heating on uh -oh. love that now everything here is super hot and i'm getting beaten up by the enemies We yeah, the the next, the next thing they want to do is, uh, or that they're trying to do is bring a, a boss in to the the demo. So that's gonna be interesting to see what we have to deal with. I just remembered as well. I need to get images of this thing. I want to be able to move the mount points for the missile pods. Andrew, have you made that a uh, a suggestion to them? Because they could have that as a, uh, like maybe a toggle feature, where you can click like where you want them mounted. Because having them on like the the shoulders is cool, but having them on maybe like the legs or something would be cool as well. Nice on the Kickstarter. Oh 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 oh! Make Thanos. <laughs> Give the Infinity Gauntlet. Logan says they're at 98k at the moment. Nice. They've easily broken the uh, the record they were going for. They only needed 32 and they've got 90. Or more. Almost 100. I hope all that extra money goes towards some really good dev time. Like, honestly, I want them to extend the dev time, because they're in crunch, like, almost all the time, from what I've heard. It's crazy. It's like, apparently, they're just sleeping in the office, and then they wake up in the office, and when they want to chill, they end up playing games, and then they talk about work as well. Well, back, when you go into multiplayer, well, what name will show up? The Merc Company or the pilot name? Probably the pilot name. Although it depends. I don't think you can name your pilot at the moment. I can't remember. I know I named my... Uh, 
I remember naming my uh, my merc company placeholder for a little bit. Send them pizza. Oh, we don't want to do a bungee turn. Uh, not a bungee, a 343, sorry. Say bungee. Bungee's not that good anymore. Don't mind the astray frame here. It's actually the, the Mirage frame, second variant. It's doing pretty well at the moment. And all of these is boxing gloves. They're meant to emulate the, uh, the claws that the suit has. I just realised I don't have enough missiles there. And there's the boss. I swear this I swear this game works better on ultra than it does on very uh, high or whatever. Weird. It also works better when I'm not streaming, but... See, this is what I'm on about. All these variants, all they do is run at you at different speeds to do different melee damage. I want more projectile firing enemies like the uh, the one that's on all fours here. He he's something that I'd love to see more of in this level. Like just have the like w at least one of these variants fire lasers from its face or something. There we go. So we've gone over the... For anyone that's just coming in now, we went over potential stuff that they'll be doing in future. Uh, we went over different ideas for weapons and features in the hangar. And we also went over uh, difficulty balancing notes that I had an idea of. If anybody wants to hear those again, then by all means I will go through them. Because I'm going to send them to the devs later on or they'll at least see this stream. So, fun stuff. There's two frames done tonight. So yeah, if anybody wants to go over those ideas, just let me know. I'm going to go and try an, 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 another suit I'm going to build here. Uh, let's try. This all comes together like people have been saying when you have the right parts. So hopefully, can I choose the, uh, the cockpit here and try and round that off? I love being able to try and build some crazier stuff on here, so we'll, we'll actually put a backpack on it as well. Uh, uh, uh. I'm trying to think of which one's going to be more useful. I think that one. What's the justification for the mech v mech combat, says Heavy? I am not sure. We might have rogue faction. We might have uh, you know, them being taken over or infested by the, uh, the quark that we've seen here in the demo, because that's what the name of the enemies are. Honestly, I am not sure. That's smaller, that's larger. Right, we'll go for that one because that looks more accurate. Then we've got that one for the front skirt. The side skirts are a little bit larger. We'll go with that one. A bit spikier. See if you guys can notice this one. This one will be a little bit more up to date. So if anyone has had trouble before guessing about what the, uh, the suit was, now you should be able to figure it out in a little bit. I'm just going to... I'm going to keep it like that, to be honest. And we'll uh, we'll try just rolling with this and see what happens. Competing mech companies. Potentially. Right, we've got this this knee joint needs to be different. It needs to be more like that. I uh, I, I really want to do Epion at some point because I've seen somebody on the Discord doing it. It looks fantastic. Might do it after this. Let's let's try try that one for it. And then for the feet, it's just normal feet. We've got ankle guards on here as well. Come on, where are we? Yeah, that's fine. And then mirror that. Then we got the standard feet here. Let's see if you guys can recognize this one. Competing mech companies while aliens are invading, that makes perfect sense, says Logan. Yeah, that's. It's kind of what they did in Marvel, if I remember rightly. Is it Marvel, they did something very similar? 
I swear they did. Let's, let's go like that for the face. That's fine. Sides of the head. Um, let's try that one. Simulations would be the best way to explain it, says Eli. Yeah, I could go with that. Right, so we got all this stuff that's going on at the moment. I'm going to give this one gauntlets as well. What we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to change it to back to the, uh, the custom gun metal. But what's normally a giveaway with these builds is the, the mech's eyes. So, is it the Blitz? No, no, no. You guys can uh, enjoy guessing while I have this suit sat right in front of me at the moment. I'm just going to slowly work on it and... I say slowly, as quickly as possible, and we'll see if you guys can guess it before I'm done. It'll probably be more of a giveaway once I have some of the main colour done. Did I have a, a green up here? I had a green. Okay, Delta Kai. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's more recent, a lot more recent. Gonna be using some chrome gold and some chrome silver on this, so just remember all the mass produced models tend to be one of three colours. Is it the buster? No, we did the buster before. Uh do do do. Keridim? No, no, no. I do still want to do the uh, the other double O suits. The the big giveaway here is probably going to be the uh, the arms later on. Trying to get this right is going to be a pain in the butt. We try doing that. No, that's not going to work. Can I do? Can I do black here, and then I'll have to do. Do that as gold. That might might work if I can get away with it. Heavy arms or sand rock? No, no, no. Heavy says it. It's it'd be like, hey, you just killed that guy. Thanks for helping you push back a major threat. Here, have a bonus. Yeah, it kind of wouldn't make sense in that aspect. I don't know how they're going to explain it properly, but I hope they do it in a way that is good enough that it doesn't seem crazy. Right, backpack. This is where you guys would probably be like, wait, what? Because the backpack is not only the, uh, one of the giveaways. If I can get this right. That's one bit. Next bit I'm trying to get right is that. Okay. Right. Waste section. Funny enough, this is all black. Like I said, this is a more up-to-date suit, as in, like, within the past two years. It's a retooling of an older one, but it's been shown off recently. So, anybody that knows the more recent, recent shows... We'll have probably seen it at some point. The uh, when I do the the gauntlets, that's going to be awkward. I just realised. Bill finds his wing for Nietzsche. No, no, no. That would uh, require a little bit more red. Let's see here. Th this is going to be the giveaway now. Right. So I need to do. These arms are going to be different. Right, so I need that to be... That's going to be blue. This is going to be hard to emulate, but I'll try. And that's going to be chrome silver. Ah, it says... 
this is as close as I can get it to what it is for the moment, right? And then we go left. And we do... Chrome gold. And then we do... That one. And... Uh, that should be fine as black. Then down here we do this as white. If this works, I'm going to be really happy about it. If not, I'm just going to be like, ah! Then we got... This is more of a simple design, so I'm just going to... Mirror certain bits up here, but we are really close to finishing. Actually, no, that's that's not... That is... Right. Almost done here. Dynamas? No, no, no. Astray Green Frame? No, no, no. Almost done. Nobody's guessed quite yet. I'll give you guys a, a, a small hint. Build divers. That's all I'm saying. It's just build divers. Almost done. The the back section here is going to be. Andrew says, haven't seen it yet. I actually need to go back over it and do, like, a recap on it. Because I actually, even though it came out and apparently it's, like, one of the worst ones, I, uh, I actually didn't mind it. I'm going to go back through it and see about what kind of an impact it had, because it's crazy. I give up that show was trash, says Young. It wasn't, it, it's definitely not the best, but it's okay as a fun watch. Okay, so this... Heavy says I'm only halfway through it. This I just realised I didn't I didn't take pictures of the uh, the astrays. Hang on. Uh, oh, well, I did I did take pictures of the first one, but not the second one. This should be. I just realised the the arm the shoulder there is not right. Hang on. Because number one there isn't green. Okay, there we go. So I just take a picture of this now. This is the Gundam Gian Ultron. Basically, the the heads on it, on either sides of the shoulders, uh, the, the left side is the silver wolf, the right side is a gold lion, but because I couldn't get wolf and lion heads on there, I had to do that. The, the backpack is the wings from the Ultron Gundam, it normally has a shield in the center, and then I can't get the snake heads or the dragon heads on the side, so I've just had to go with the gloves here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go weapons. See, this is what I mean. Like, sometimes the it really does make or break it if you don't have the right color scheme. If we go to assemble here and we go to paint, I should be able... Green is too dark, Moody. No, no, no. It's, it's literally a forest green. I'm looking at it because it's not like a, a bright green like that. I mean, maybe I can get away with military, military metal green, but that MS was a werewolf fairy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The werewolf guy was the one that piloted it. Right, so we go here and we do that. I'm gonna try and get this looking at even remotely like those heads. So we've got the the fangs here, which were gold. We can try and get those. Like that, maybe? Let's let's try gold there. And then we got the, the white section, which was only at the edges. That's not going to work in this, so I'm going to have to do maybe that white. I might be able to pull that off if you squint a little bit. It's dark burnt green. The kit is a crayon green. Hmm. 
It might actually... A Crayola green, says Young. It might be just because I had to repaint mine, so I painted it in, like, a forest green. But yeah, we'll go with the gloves here, the uh, the dragon head gloves, because I can't do the individual colours for each of the hands. That would be a cool option, though. Mission start. So there we go, we're just going to box everyone to death here. Honestly, I hope these sound effects are placeholder. I've said it so many times. Just get my energy back up though by doing the uh, little bug that allows you to get your energy back. That works pretty well, says Eli. I'm actually surprised about it. I do like the weather it looks. I love the feature to make gloss, metal, and plastic. You make you make look like a plastic model, says Malincro. Whoa, what the hell was that move then? I like I jumped and pressed Oh my god, what the I don't know what I was doing there, but I was doing some crazy damage combos. You have to try just charging and punching at an enemy because I think I might have a problem there. I do love that though, you can just get your energy back in mid air by punching and then just... The sound effects being this way have been to so far, to our knowledge, placeholders as Malin Crow. Yep. That's what I thought. Oh, Make one punch, man. Probably good to be honest. What I'm trying to do is get loads of damage here by just constantly boosting and punching. Wait, hang on, if I... If I just repeat the same move over and over again... This guy here with the, the square mask, I would expect him to shoot rather than charge, but... No. So no variety. This is what I mean, like, when I was on about it before. When I was saying, in terms of, like, enemy types, it'd be cool to have an enemy that shoots something at you, like projectiles, not like acid breath, but proper projectiles, like maybe needles or energy blasts or something. You know, because then it gives you a little bit of variety and gives the enemy more of a challenge. In the tuning menu, you can max the damage output of the melee attacks. That reminds me, I still need to actually mess around with that, because I did it so it was like balanced overall, but you can go crazy with the tuning menu. I might have to do that at some point. These feel like they're not finished and running on the same patterns to me, says Andrew. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely looks like they've just kind of decided, you know what, it's, it's not really finished yet, but we'll put some AI in. I just realized that sparks uh, lightning at the end there. That's so cool. I just like the way that the mechs look in the levels. It's not as if combat feels bad either. It just needs a little bit of tweaking here and there in the different difficulties to make it feel... Like, really, really good. It's like I was saying before, with different difficulties of making it so you can't just boost all the time, or making it so that weapon drops, like ammo drops, weren't as plentiful, or maybe make it so the enemy's attack patterns are faster. You know, that would really ramp things up. These battlefields seem very desolate and lonely, says Heavy. At the moment, yeah. That's supposed to be Dantelion. No, no, no. No, Ultras. This is the Gian Ultron from Bell Divers. I mean, I could make the Dantelion, but I'd need a, uh, a little bit more bulkier armor. works because I've not got elemental damage on, I've just got projectile damage on here.
Look at that heartache. Oh, come up. There's the acid breath. I think the dance line is ugly, to be honest. It doesn't look good. Yeah, it really doesn't. I agree with that. Like, not even the uh, the full leg and, and arm and armor on it looks. You know, it just looks terrible. Really weird concept of design, but you know, it's just like, oh, we'll stick a really light gun and frame in a uh, in a robot suit and give it more armor. I think friendly grunts would be nice. Having some missions where you can assist some friendly grunts in an operation would be cool. Why is that? Every time I make a comment, the stream buffer says heavy. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Keep trying to pose this right at the very end. Oh, that doesn't look too bad for a pose, that. I actually like that. That's cool. Can I, uh, can I get that? It's like print screen that. So we've, we've done the, the Astray frames and we've done the, uh, the Gian Ultron here. So yeah, I will go off and post these now on the Discord. And I shall see you guys later on for another stream. Probably a build stream. It depends. Like, I don't know what the time is, but... Fastest time on mission one, says Malincrow. Maybe next time. But yeah, what I'll do is... I'll, uh, I'll do another stream in a bit. I always do streams of this for everybody that's first time to the channel. I do streams of this almost every single day. And if not that, then Gundam. So, uh, by all means, you're welcome to stay by and check out stuff and hopefully enjoy the content. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope the uh, the devs have got something out of this. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!